So you're watching this right now, and chances are you're in one of two situations. You're either single or you're not. But regardless, you definitely have questions about love. Well, in my experience, when you do have questions about love, the best people to ask are those with years and years of experience. So today we are. Warren, you're kind of the Casanova of the Fairlawn Senior Center. Well, I guess I am. You guys are the wise, experienced women. Harvey, Ed, I'm here to talk to you guys about love. Love, L-O-V-E. Love, what's that? What are your thoughts on love? The greatest thing in the world, you can't go without it. People want to know what the trick is to finding true love. You have to meet someone who sparks you and who treats you well and you treat him well and you have fun together. At 86 years old, how do you keep the fire in the relationship? The fire's there, man. There's no, no need to stoke the fire. How do you keep the spark alive in the bedroom behind closed doors. <laughs> Do you guys believe in love at first sight? A man, it's really lust to start off with. Boy, would I like to... Clap them. No, not clap. You're kind of a Prince Charming. What are your thoughts on romance? I love to hold people, especially my girlfriend. I love to hold her, kiss her. It's wonderful. You guys seem like hot tamales. <laughs> Do you, are you still got it going on? Yeah. How, sure. how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? No, I'm not telling. How old? <laughs> I'm not telling. How old? Tell me in my ear. Tell me in my ear. 75? Yeah. Would you guys consider yourselves a couple of studs? Used to be. Never was. Who's this, Harvey? B? B? I don't know. She looks like B. No, but like it's not Rose. B. Rose. Rose is good, too. Believe in casual sex. I don't believe in sex at all. <laughs> I'm glad I'm living. <laughs> What's the secret to, to keeping it alive at 75? It has to be sexy clothes, outfits on later on. Oh Do you have God. sexy outfits? I'm not telling. Now, this I'm not. You already talking. did. Are we talking lace? Are we talking, like, satin? Anything you want to think of. Really? Anything, anything I'm you thinking about a lot right now. <laughs> and you, obviously, oh have some <laughs> stuff going on right now, because you're just laughing. Uh, well, I, I'm very impressed with it. I didn't know she was that hot. <laughs> what advice can you give to people that want to find love? Keep trying. You think you like them, talk to them. Don't, don't. Uh... Walk away. If you're looking for love, keep a positive frame of mind, keep happy, keep joyful. The life is up and down and you, and you gotta forgive sometimes and you gotta, may, if you have a commitment to a decent human being, it will last. You never told us what's love to you. I'm in it right now. Okay, great. With you. <laughs> but all kidding aside, in the end, it was a man named Isaac who knew the true meaning of love. I don't have any secrets from my wife. My wife never had any secrets from me. Believe me, I swear by God, if somebody would come and give me more than a million dollars, I wouldn't change one finger for my wife. Suppose I never